here we are on Monday morning, and I just want to say a special thank you to all of you who tune in and, and enjoy these devotions each morning. And I hope that uh, this morning I can encourage you with Psalm 130. Psalm 130, I'm going to read it to you, and then we're just going to talk about it a little bit. Uh, so starting with verse number one, Psalm 130, it says, Out of the depths have I cried unto thee, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. If thou, Lord, shouldst mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? But there is forgiveness with thee, that thou mayest be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul doth wait, and in his word do I hope. My soul waiteth for the Lord more than they that are watching for the morning. I say more than they that watch for the morning. Let Israel hope in the Lord, for the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. Wow, repeatedly, God says in his word that he forgives. One of the greatest things that a believer ever receives is forgiveness of sin. Without the forgiveness of sin, without the, the, the blood being poured, uh, spilt, poured out for sin, there is no connectedness to God. Uh, there is no right relationship with him. But through Christ Jesus, our Lord, uh, the, the, the lamb that was slain, the perfect lamb, uh, we can have and enjoy forgiveness. Every morning you should wake up understanding that you have the potential of being in right relationship with the Lord that day because he is plenteous in mercy and forgiveness. And I know that there are many people out there that are having a tough time uh, each day because of things that they've done, things that they've said, uh, maybe activities in their past that they believe are just unforgivable. Well, in Christ, all things are forgivable. Uh, I want to encourage you with that because once we recognize how wonderful and how awesome God is at forgiving and his spirit comes into us, uh, we should be able to also give forgiveness to others. Many are not just trapped in uh, the, understand, uh, the belief that God won't forgive them. They're also trapped in the inability to forgive others. Uh, our forgiveness uh, flows from uh, the forgiveness that we've received. And God says, no matter what you've done, no matter who you are, he absolutely forgives. He has renewed forgiveness every time we ask for it. What a powerful blessing. What a way to start your week knowing that even though you may not have been all that you could have been or all that you know you should have been throughout the weekend or this past week, right now you can call out to the Lord and say, God, forgive me. Set me on the right path so that I can please you and be a blessing to others. He will do it. He'll do it. He has plenty of forgiveness to go around. He loves to give mercy. And so I want you to understand that about your God this morning. As you start a brand new week, start in the right direction. Start from the position of knowing that as a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. And you can approach the Lord God every day for renewed forgiveness for that right relationship. It's a complicated process, but a very simple thing to enjoy. And so I hope that you enjoy from this moment forward today, the understanding that God wants to forgive and he has plenty of forgiveness to go around. I hope that helps you start your week off strong. Have a great day.